I was shocked because that type of stuff doesn't happen in football. You know, that's like the fairy tales. In real life, it doesn't work. I get tackled. The game's over. We go home sad. How you doing? I'm Stefan Diggs, wide receiver for the Minnesota Vikings. How you doing? My name is Trayvon Diggs. Stephon, he's my older brother. Kyle Rudolph, tight end for the Minnesota Vikings. I was on the field during the Minneapolis Miracle. It wasn't a regular game. It was, a, it was definitely an emotional roller coaster. I never got nervous before a football game. Like, I've never had pregame jitters. You know, I've always been kind of excited and ready to go. This is my first game. He just had won the national championship, so our season was over. So now the first time I got to see him play ever since I've been in season and he's been in season. You know, I remember getting off to a fast start. We scored on the first possession. It was exciting because we were, we hit the ground running and everything is clicking. Unfortunately for us in the second half, we didn't play very well in any phase. And I, I'm pretty sure they scored on every drive in the second half. You know, a lot of the fans thought it was over, including me, myself. I actually did think it was over. The plan was uh, Case Keenum. Shout out my guy, Case. He said the way he talks is like a high, high energy type of guy. So he's like, I'm a... I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give somebody a chance. I'm gonna give somebody a chance, all right? But he only really cut his eyes at me like once. Play call is simple. It was just seven heaven. And, you know, for 22 weeks, we had practiced this play at least once a week. So uh, we broke the huddle and the ball snapped. As I'm running my route, I saw the defender and where he was. So I knew if I caught him, he was gonna hit me. When I caught it, nobody touched me. And I played football long enough to know that it's bang, bang. Like I catch hit. Something in my soul told me, don't go out of bounds. Like, we not going out of bounds. We either gonna go for the jugular or we just gonna go home. When I caught the ball, it went quiet. But when I put my hand on the ground, it just started getting loud, 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 loud. And when I touched him, it sounded like a bomb. On I was in the end zone. Uh, he was coming towards me. I could see he was really excited and because he started crying and stuff like that. And you know, it was just a, a happy, cheerful moment. Right there at that moment, everyone felt like, you know, this was a team of destiny and this was our year. I think my brother knows how, how I feel about him. I look at him not only as my big brother, but as a father figure. So, you know, I'm happy for him. It shows people that, like, you know, you really don't ever have to give up because games don't end that way. But it did. They'll never stop playing because you, know, you never know what's going to happen.